All right, I believe we are live. We are going to see here. Looks like my stream health is just okay, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see how this looks and sounds to you guys. Um, anyway, so Matt Pierce here from TechSmith. I am working on scripts for TechSmith Academy and mostly experimenting with some different work methods to, to get feedback, get ideas, working on some scripts on a basics a screencasting course, and we'll see. We'll see how this works. I have no idea um, if this is going to be valuable or not. I've got my chat open, so if anyone wants to say anything, that's cool. Uh, mostly I'm going to talk out loud, which is something I do a lot anyway. I'm not going to look so much at the camera, so let me just go ahead and... Uh, now I'll just I'll stay here so you guys can see me. I can look at you every once in a while. Um, so yeah, uh, going to be working on this particular script about controlling the pace. So this is all about screen recording. Uh, let me just show you. Kind of got a basic outline up here. Uh, lots of different pieces. Working on making these smaller little videos. Um, really just trying to get everything out of my head at this point. So these are not super polished. Um, but breaking down the topic. So this controlling the pace video script might end up being a couple things. It might be one thing. It, uh, I don't know yet. So that's why I'm working out loud here. So um, just coming from controlling the pace, we just talked about like the basics of cutting, right? So when you're making a screencast, you're going to be cutting up. You, got, you lay out your audio track. You're going to then lay out your uh, kind of main footage that you recorded, cutting out the mistakes, cutting out the dead spots, cutting out anything you don't want, uh, more than likely trying to get it to match to the audio, going to assume that's the way you're going to work here. And now as you go through an editing, I, I think the next step is after you've kind of got the main structure edited is to start to control the pace. So this means maybe you cut out some dead spots, but it doesn't, things aren't matching up. Um, so how do you go about making sure your audio and your video footage are sinking. So uh, this is where it gets a little tough to maybe do this is for me to be talking this out loud. So I might just kind of read talk as I write and uh, we'll see here. But again, if you have questions, thoughts, ideas, and I am watching the chat. So go ahead and drop them in here. I'm going to put something here. Drop questions, thoughts, and so forth here for me. So now maybe that gets going. Okay, so we gotta, we just come off. Uh, now that the basics of your video are on your timeline, it's time to start getting the audio and video to perfectly match up. So, okay, so as we're getting a match up, what's true about things that we want things to match up, right? Uh, we want the, I think what's true is you want, uh, probably need to teach someone that's very new to screencasting, like, what do you do? Do you click and then tell them what you did, or you do it and then, or tell them what you're going to do, then do it, and maybe even reemphasize it? I think we probably want to give us some instruction around that. Uh, as you start getting your video and audio to match, you'll want to remember, especially if the topic you are presenting is new to your audience, that you need to make sure that they can easily follow along. And you'll find that I'm a terrible typer, terrible, uh, I make lots of mistakes. Uh, but that's what things I have tools in place for. Uh, for instance, maybe an example, uh, if you are going to show a, an action like clicking a button or inputting information into a field you may want to take 
take. You may want to take a second. You want to let the user viewer call. I'm, I'm sticking with, so one of the things that's been interesting as I've been going through the scripts, it's coming up with consistency. I know in the learning field, industry, whatever you want to call us, talks a lot about do we call them a learner? Do we call them a, uh, what do we call them? Uh, I'm just going with viewer viewer and creator, right? Like you're creating the video, you've got viewers of the video. It doesn't matter if it's for learning purposes, marketing purposes, whatever we want to, we'll talk about, about them as viewers. So, okay, you may want to let the viewer know that you're about to take an action or describe the action and then take it. Uh, Again, this is just rough, just getting this out of my head. So that's, uh, uh, you know, the thing. Um, okay, so good. So we've got some specific things I've outlined in here. What else do they need to know? Now the basic of your video is on your timeline. It's time to start getting audio, video, perfectly match up. Um, so... We're changing, you'll need to make sure that they can easily follow along. For instance, if you're going to show an action, like clicking a button or inputting information to a field, you may want to let the viewer know that you're about to take that action or describe the action and then take it. Okay, what else about screencasts here? If you find that you have, you may find, stop ifs, you may find that in parts of your video, you need to, you have, let's say you have, let's start with, uh, we, we want to say that there's less than, there is less um, footage than there is talking. Uh, you, so, you know, that, Video. You may find that in parts of your video you have more audio or narration than you have screen content. This is not unusual since uh, as a lot of times it may take you longer to say something then to actually do it. Okay, so this is not unusual, it's not unusually. Um, okay, so we've got this situation, right? So we're telling somebody that it may take them longer to say something than do something, so how do you solve it? Like, if you're brand new to screencasting, what are your go-to options? When this is the case, you may have a few options. And that might be something uh, we might come back instead of few, we might say several, we might, we might just make, you might just, maybe there's just one option, which I know there's one, but I don't know if there's two or three. Uh, so that's what we're gonna work through. When this is the case, you may have a few options. The, the first option is to use something like extend a frame. So now I'm saying the solution is to do the extend a frame. Uh, uh, I should mention if you are not familiar with me in the TechSmith Academy, we are not, I work Camtasia obviously. Uh, however, I'm not teaching Camtasia here, I'm teaching screencasting, I'm teaching these basics. So I, I've decided that in the script I can present an option that is Camtasia specific, but I shouldn't be teaching Camtasia. I sh I, so like, I'm assuming Premiere, Adobe Rush, these other programs will have a similar option. And if not, uh, maybe we can provide a kind of workaround. Uh, and so we'll, you know, so here's, this, uh, here's the development. I know extended frame is a Camtasia option. I don't necessarily know what it's called. And I'm not too concerned about that though, but now we probably gotta explain it. So extend a frame is when 
you take a single frame and duplicate it on the timeline. Some programs will do this easily. In other cases, you may need to take a screenshot and add it to your timeline. Um, now, one of the dilemmas here is is the question like because this is going to be a video. It's not just a text. I'm not just explaining it. So I probably need to make sure I ex show it. Um, and that's what I'm going to. I'm going to lean on the visuals here a lot. So like I don't want to have to get into so deep of narration description because I think that's not as helpful as just like I could just show you what this is. Um, I think it becomes immediately clear. Uh, and then people will get it. Um, because the extended frame, and I won't worry about punctuation here, probably actually shouldn't be capitalized because I don't want to talk about the feature, but because the extended frame is a still image and not video, it is highly flexible and can meet then uh, be extended as long as necessary to fill a gap now that's true and it's great you could say I'm gonna extend frame for 12 minutes but that's not very compelling content and I get if you're just new that's may be like okay I'm just filling it in um, so now I feel like that we're getting this moment here's the solution but we're, we don't want to cause more problems. We don't want to make bad video. Um, uh, just maybe remember though, because I, I want this is going to be a natural tone. It's going to be conversational. Remember though, uh, that you may want to limit the length, as it can kind it can be boring to uh, blah, 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 boring to watch a still image it can be boring to watch we'll just say that uh, and if it goes for too long it goes it, if I could blah, 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 goes for too long uh, the viewer may inadvertently may they might think that the video is frozen, may worry that the video has become frozen. Okay, so my frantic brain's thinking about 12 other things. Um, so that's pretty pretty good start on this. Now the question is, is there another, um, is there another thing here, another solution to extending the time? We could just put in, you could record more uh, video. You could record, you could put in a, just any other picture. Um, uh, I don't know if there was anyone here, we'd talk about it. This would be a great place to talk about it. Um, So, okay. So let's go back to this. I'm going to change the word. I'm just going to change the word because if something else comes up, I will, uh, you know what, we'll address it. We can always add. Uh, you know what, I'm going to make it a couple. So two, another option. is to record more content or introduce or use B-roll footage. Now, because these are beginners, I feel I gotta find this balance between do I explain to them what B-roll is 
Uh, maybe I've, I haven't talked about it before. Should I talk about it before? Screencasting is not known for its B-roll. Uh, we don't use a lot of B-roll in screencasts. Um, but uh, maybe, maybe instead of B-roll, maybe this is a, a great place, an appropriate taste place to talk about, say, like, um, uh, you know, this is a great use of just a camera. So, for instance, uh, if I was going to add, like, we're talking here. Uh, let me just get this media source. I'm, I'm going to change something to my streaming here. And da, 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 video capture device. Add existing. Okay, I'm just going to boom, boom, boom. Because now let's make this bigger. Okay, and I'm gonna transition. See now you can we're talking here, right? Just you and me. I'm gonna watch here. See it stream change. Uh, it looks like I'm just frozen up there, in a very pissed off mood. Uh, that's not good. Um, let's go back to this. I don't know why my camera is not functioning. Um, uh, eh, whatevs, right? Uh, Hello, camera. Um, <laughs> so you guys probably haven't seen me. So I'm just going to keep it on this view. So I could talk about the camera. I could talk about B-roll. So maybe we do have a few options here. Um, I think the second best option is camera if you are not um, showing anything super important. Like you wouldn't want to cut away to the camera if it's like, oh, let's look at this button. Now it's up here and you sh don't show them where it is. So let me actually switch this. An option, another option is, is uh, let's move this down. A second option is to switch to your camera recording if you have one. This will allow you to engage with your audience. You should not. I'm just going to move this up so it's more center for you guys. Should not cover up um, anything crucial about the audience. You should not use it to cover up anything crucial that your viewer needs to see. Okay. Um, so if you're explaining the import, explaining the importance of Explain the importance, we'll say, the location of an item on the screen. You probably wouldn't want to switch to full screen camera view. That's true. Fine, a, a third. Now what we don't want to do is we don't want to make someone think that these are the only options. Um, obviously we want to provide a good foundation. Uh, we don't want to overwhelm, and maybe this is overwhelming, and maybe I'll cut it because it's overwhelming, but I, at least if it's out there, we can work with that. I can, I can do this, again, rough draft, right? A third option is record more content or use B-roll footage, B-roll. Footage is video footage that supports the content, but is not the main footage. For instance, um, if you're talking about software for a machinery, for machinery, not a machinery, for a machine. Well, let's do a machine uh, or a system. And you show footage of, if you show video, we'll show, instead of footage again, we'll say video, video of that machine or 
system, that would be considered. I know this is this is a really rough definition. Um, I'll probably let me make a note here. Uh, rough thought cleanup later. So that way I've got it. I, I'm again just trying to get out here. Um, again, don't you you won't want to hide the screen if you're talking narrating about something the viewer your needs to see so okay so that's there um, a, a good good start on this so far uh, again we're talking about controlling the pace and so now what we've got is this we should probably switch gears so we talked about this idea of the the audio that we have is longer than the narration and then what we really probably need to figure out is the uh, if the narration is shorter than the video what what can we do so this is a problem that happens sometimes is when it takes me like, oh, you need to do this, but the actual process is longer than that. Um, and who knows why? Uh, maybe the program takes some time to, to render. Maybe it takes, um, it's, you know, multiple steps, but it really you just have to say one thing. I, I don't know why this happens. It happens so. <clears throat> maybe it's because it's a foreign language and it's, um, or maybe you started in German and going to English, English being typically shorter. Uh, for whatever the reason, though, you're going to want to think about ways now, the opposite of what we just talked about. So um, we'd want to say another problem you may f encounter, love the word encounter, d, &D uh, is that the narration or the audio is faster than the video. Uh, I don't like the word faster here. I think it's that's the wrong intent. It's not that it's faster. It's uh, it takes long. It takes less time than the video. In this case, if the video has portions you can take out that are non-essential and won't leave the viewer confused. You can cut. Hey, it's Ajay. What's up, man? I am working out loud here, literally typing in this process. So uh, hopefully if you can hear me, leave another comment. I am literally uh, most talk just talking to myself and uh, bringing uh, uh, talking through kind of everything, trying to be somewhat thoughtful about how I do this. I've never done it before, so uh, um, it's a little rough. Uh, not used to talking out loud as I work through my process, so you're getting this is uh, really raw, but you know, trying to be somewhat interesting here and thinking through the process. So, um, working on a script that it is controlling the pace. Uh, so we're talking about screencasting, screen recording, and uh, for people that would be brand new as an audience and trying to give them kind of everything they need to know. And at this point, they would have recorded their video. They're just getting into editing the video. And you're talk we're talking about like, okay, so you've got an audio. Oops, whoop, that's a lot of scrolling there. I didn't mean to do that. Talking about like you've got your audio track down and you've built out kind of your main recordings. But now you're trying to get your audio and your video to match up. What can you do? Just talked about when the, the audio takes longer than the video. And now working on when the audio is, it takes less time than the video, what can you do? So um, just trying to figure out like, okay, how do, we, how do we teach someone about this and help them to be successful? Um, I, I mentioned this earlier on, but since you just joined, uh, you know, not teaching Camtasia. So what I don't want to do is teach, try to teach to the product. 
we've got tutorials and stuff for that, that's fine. But kind of giving people enough so that if they're using something else, they would be okay. Although, uh, when I actually go to build out this video, Camtasia is going to be the what we show as a content because it makes sense. So, um, anyway, so I'm just in the process of starting to talk about the audio takes less time than the video. So, what are the solutions here? Actually, you can take this thing out because it's not a solution anymore. It's for the other one. Uh, so, one is if you can cut out portions, right? Like. I recorded my video is maybe, let's say, two minutes. My audio takes a minute 45. Are there port parts that we can just trim up, make it more effective, get rid of the kind of dull parts, slow parts, but that doesn't leave someone confused. Um, so in this case, as the video has portions you can take out, maybe I should say that you can uh, edit out, be a little bit more specific, that are not non essential and won't leave the viewer confused. I uh, cut, mm, do, do, do. cut those out first. See now I'm all someone's watching, so uh, I hope I don't freeze up on camera. Uh, okay, so cut those out first. I don't love that sentence, but just get them. Get gotta get it out ahead and then refine. Uh, won't leave the viewers confused. Cut those out first. Be careful. not to cut too much as you don't want to disorient. It's kind of saying the same thing. I'll say it again, the viewer, or cause large jumps in the content. If Does that make sense? If uh, like when you're cutting things out, you don't want to leave, I'm a little bit worried about saying jumps because I don't, maybe they won't know what that is as a new person. But I'm not talking about like jump cuts. I don't care about jump cuts. It's fine to me if you're new to this. What I care about is that you're not making mental leaps and bounds, right? Like I'm not taking you from A to, to uh, G and having you just assume that you know B, C, D, E, F. Uh, yeah, jumps, okay. So cause jumps in the content. Another option is to speed up the video playback. Uh, many, um, I, yeah, I know, I, I know. So I'm gonna flag this, because that's what I can do right now. Clarify, won't understand, jumps. So I'll just put a comment there now. I'll, I'll come. I'll come back to it. Yeah, large. Hey, Ajay, if you have a if you have a term, help me think here. Uh, okay, so it's not jumps. It's not a. You don't want to sort of your cause them to miss like miss large gaps. Um, you don't want them to disorient the user user by skipping essential steps in your process. I think that actually conveys it pretty good. Um, gaps, gaps is a good word. Yeah, it's better. Uh, cool. And again, I'm gonna go through, what I do my process, just so you know, is after I write, I will go back and I read it out loud. I'll run through reading out loud and make changes, and then I will um, I'll read it again for, and make even more changes, and then I read it like a third time for rough timing, uh, so that way I can um, just kind of figure out where I'm at. So these are, I'm following in your footstep and taking after lynda.com or LinkedIn Learning, trying to make smaller smaller videos here that will piece together rather than one giant video. And I'm not even sure if this will be one video or if it makes sense to break up kind of the concepts, but. So another option is to speed up the video playback in your editor. This will have the effect of increasing the speed of the video essentially uh, 
Nothing in 400 to 300 to 150 to 500 words. Wow. Um, yeah, three to five minutes. I'm, so a lot of what I'm working on right now just uh, is rough. These are rough estimates of time, uh, like between one and I think my max is like three minutes, 50 seconds. Um, so I'm trying to keep it, keep them short, uh, but also as long as necessary. So if I f find one that goes five minutes, I'll be okay with that. I don't want them all to be five minutes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, editors, I'm sure. I'm going to need some, some good editing on this when I'm done, but out of the brain first, out of the brain. Um, I don't know. So question for you, as you're, as just as I'm working here, quality of this, I tried actually Twitch, uh, streamed on Twitch the other day, and I thought quality looked really great. I'm having a problem that um, with my streaming that my camera's not working, so I can't turn that on. So I don't know if this is better. I, I kind of wish I could, at least you could see my eyes. Um, so I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna, let me just clean up my memory here and see if that helps a little bit, but um, we'll see. Okay, so this will have the effect of increasing the speed of the video and shortening uh, I, language. I don't want to say hence or thus because that's not good for actually people watching. So the effect of increasing the speed of video, shortening the length to better fit your video, your, your audio. Oh, I'm glad you, you like it. It's, um, no, 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 thank you. And I, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. I'm I'm just trying it. We're, I might try it some more, but you know, figured if I can work out loud, if I can get ideas, because uh, <laughs> more courage <laughs> or stupidity, I don't know. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> maybe a little both. Um, but no, thanks for joining. It's, uh, I, I just, I, the reason I'm doing it on a Thursday afternoon is because I didn't need a lot of people joining me. Uh, I might do something next week uh, that's m more publicized, more planned. So I just thought I'd give it a try. Thanks, Ajay. Thanks for the feedback that you helped me out on that one. That was that's awesome. All right, diving back in. This will have the effect of increasing the speed of the video, shortening the length to better fit your audio. A couple things to <laughs> wealth. I don't I don't know about hero, but thank you and talk to you later. Uh, a couple things to consider when changing. Oh, you know what? That actually makes me think we can actually change the speed of playback um, actually up here. So, ooh, this is interesting. Hmm. So, so now I need to think about. Think about this. So, um, okay, for anyone watching, Aj was nice enough to join in. I think I'm gonna call it a stream so I can get, fo you know, not have to talk through everything. Uh, maybe I, can, I need to figure out why my camera's not going. Uh, but this has been interesting. I'm gonna stop everything now. And uh, if you watched, anyone else watches this, uh, have a great day. Thanks for uh, joining. If anyone sees the stream afterwards, cool. Um, we're gonna get something formal set up here in a little bit, uh, sometime next week. I'm gonna look at calendar and see if I can get it promoted a little bit. Maybe I'll set up a live event. I'm not sure I love YouTube. Uh, actually liked Twitch a little bit better, but I realize there's some some issues there. Maybe I can figure out the, the chat stuff to make it more persistent. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I, this, this worked fairly well, and we'll see you guys later, thanks.